because mm. you said something to me the other day that I think is very poignant mm. and that I think a lot of men deserve to hear and a lot of people deserve All to hear. All right, you want to start with that? I do. I want to I want to talk about how just quickly because I think that that your uh, genius because a lot of the times Elijah and I are stealing the things that you say to us and we tweet it because you <laughs> you have these good one line takes you have very good ideas I often use the things that Aww. you say in my videos about you know men's issues or about feminism and whatnot you were talking the other day about how we need stronger fathers in the picture and I think that I think that's something that that people deserve to you know have discussed yeah I think what we were were talking about is I guess my issue with conservative men or whatever. I love men. I know you do as well. I love to encourage them and support them. But I had recently been thinking a lot about conservative men. And one thing that I had seen a lot of, I don't know, like I just different things that I've seen online from different male conservative creators or whatever is there's a lot of, um, can I say slut? Yeah, you can yeah, say slut. Slut shaming. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. And not in the, the real feminist sense, but really like, oh, she's an e-thought. Oh, she's blah, blah, blah. And just like mocking, degrading and tearing down women for being really sexually promiscuous. Mm -hmm. And um, we all know JLP, Jordan Peterson, and how he goes, slut maker. He's a slut maker. Jordan and I was, Peterson? Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Lee like, Peterson. Jordan Peterson. <laughs> that would be is crazy. Like, hey, yeah. But I, but I, but I was thinking okay, Jordan like Jordan Peterson calling people sluts. Imagine, you know, that. imagine that would be funny. But <laughs> these conservative men tear down these women, and I would, and a specifically Christian conservative men or Catholic conservative men, where we believe in the Bible that men have a God-given right to be ahead of women, over women, and to protect them. And you see these men laughing and tearing down these women. Oh, sh look at her. She's an e-thought. Oh, blah, 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 blah. All this sort of stuff. And you go, hold on, but you believe that you were supposed to be over women and protect them. And how are these, like, girls don't just pop out of the womb wanting to sleep with every They're single man. They're not just man. whores by genetic no, who, what, is, what makes a whore? A slut maker, you know? It's the men who let the women down, who then, you know, they mock these women and then they go and watch pornography and jerk off to it. And you go... You and you've got the nerve <laughs> she goes. to go and mock these women and laugh at them when it was your God given duty to protect them and and look after them. And you were the ones that created these this type of women, the weak, loose women who feel like they need to behave in a certain way. You know, oh, I need to sleep with him. Otherwise, he won't love me or he'll leave me or whatever. So it's the men's responsibility to hold the women to a higher position. And when I see these conservative men mocking and tearing down these women and you go, but it was your job to lead them. Mm -hmm. It was your job to protect them and guide them. And if you believe in God, it was your God given duty to do so. And you didn't do it. And then you've got the nerve to mock the, you know, the, the results of what, the result of, of what of your, your lifestyle. Yeah, of your thing. And even like women, like, yeah, when you were talking about fathers mm -hmm. you can often see like oh that girl's got daddy issues or that guy you know he didn't he wasn't raised with a dad so he behaves in a certain way we all know the importance of fathers we all know the importance of fathers